Hey guys, what's up? My name is Maria Pontillo. I am a doctor of physical therapy, um, promoting my fitness brand, Fitness with Maria, that I do weekly um, online workouts through. So I offer a workout of the week every week, similar to the one that I do in my virtual program. So um, I, I'm a big promoter of safe exercising, uh, efficient exercising, maximizing your time and space. So uh, all my workouts really are minimal equipment required and space. So you could do this really in, in the comfort of your home with just a few uh, pieces of equipment. Today um, is the 100. So basically we're doing 100 reps of honestly basic complex exercises. Um, complex meaning like total body, using your core, um, and, and larger muscle groups. Okay, so first up we're going to do the squat to row. You probably will see this in a lot of my workouts because it's such a, a functional exercise promoting the squat and uh, posture. So what we're going to do is find a band, place it around a pole, something firm. You're going to do a squat, keeping your knees behind your toes, chest up. As you stand up, you're going to row. So you have 100 of these. You can't move on to the next exercise until you complete 100. So the idea is to not just do 100, it's to do 100 effectively. So split it up however you want. 10 sets of 10, 4 sets of 25, whatever it takes, you're just not doing it um, sloppy. Okay, the moment you start to lose your form, you're going to move and take a little break and then go back in. Next is jumping jacks, 100. If you don't want to jump, you can do side taps and arms up. Okay? Then you have 100 bicycle crunches. You're going to lay back, knee in, opposite shoulder. You're rolling through your upper back. You start to get tired, drop the legs, and just rotate from the torso. So for that one, you're going to do 50 on the right, 50 on the left to total 100. Then we have 100 swings. You can use a kettlebell or a dumbbell for this. So I'm going to use a kettlebell and then I'll show you the option for a dumbbell. You guys want to send your hips back and thrust forward. Okay? Keep it below shoulder height and use your butt and squeeze at the top. So the hip dominant movement. We're not doing the squat there. If you have a dumbbell, you'll do the same thing. You hold it on the tip, swing the dumbbell forward and back. Hundred of those. Then you have a hundred second plank. So you're gonna need a timer to time yourself. You can go on your hands. You can go on your elbows. You can go on your knees, as long as your hips are not up and you stay level. Okay, the goal is to hold it for 100 seconds. So let's say by 60 seconds you need a break. That's fine. Just make up for the other 40 after your break. Okay, then we have 50 bicep curls and 50 dips. All right, so grab a decent weight for this. Curl up and down. If it starts to get too heavy, you can change it up to a hammer curl. As long as you're not swinging with your back. Okay? That means you need a break. Straight up, all the way up, all the way down, not halfway. Okay? Dips, you just need a bench, a chair, a bed, anything that you can put your hands on. You're going to bend down and up, keep your body close to the object you're dipping on, and bend your elbows back. I see a lot of times like dips like this, where you move your butt. No. It's elbows, extension, straight up, straight down. Then you have 100 aerobic lunges for a good cardio finish. Basically, side to side. You can add a little twist with it. You're going to do 100 right and 100 left. All right? Now, the bonus is after every 100, you're going to do 10 push ups. Okay? So that's your workout of the week, guys. I, uh, I just finished. It took me about 25 minutes to do it. 
and I felt like super gassed and burnt at the end. So real safe, effective workout, no heavy lifting, no heavy weights, all body weight. Work on your form and enjoy. I'll see you guys again for my next workout of the week. See ya. Say bye, Rex. Say bye, Rexy. Oh. See you soon.